Hello everyone, welcome to Alchemy Stars. We have another rotating recruitment banner uh, upcoming. Uh, it's going to be dropping tomorrow, April 19th, 0900 up to April 26th, also at 0900. So UTC plus zero. So is this banner worth summoning for because you cannot choose any any of these lovely ladies here so might as well discuss if they are good to pull to to have or to pull with this banner we might as well start off with jonah here um just want to say that i like the artwork for jonah i don't have jonah by the way uh she has eluded me uh let's take a look and review her kit guys okay so here is jonah so she is with fire she's a sniper active skill is enters the noon state increasing jonah's attack by 15 percent and chain combo damage by 30 percent as well as reducing the combo triggering tile count of fire orions by two so clearly she her active skill is going to have buffs on herself kind of you know have a buff on her team for fire orions by the way so next is her chain combo no survivors deals 155 damage to three enemies within two surrounding clusters deals 160 damage to enemies within three surrounding clusters and next is on 13 uh, chain combo deals 175 damage to four enemies within three surrounding clusters and finally her equipment uh rapid reload when 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 in noon state increases the damage of normal attacks by 20 percent and normal attacks deals 50 percent splash damage to all targets in four, in four tiles in a cross shape around the enemy okay what do I think of Jonah, guys? Um, I think she's she is going to be average at best. Um, there are a lot of she has a lot of competition within fire element itself, easily overpowered by other snipers and detonators. So, if you are a beginner um, and you're kind of looking for you to complete probably a piece in your lineup for fire. I would suggest that you hold on to your currencies for pulling. Um, I don't think you'll be using her as much if you have the other um, Fire Aurorians already. Like, for example, me, I have enough for my roster. So, most likely, I won't be using her as much. Especially for free-to-play, you, you really have to save up for the right 6-star to be pulling for any banner. So... Definitely, this is going to be... Um, Jonah's not really a good candidate right now for the six-star pull. So, moving on to the other two that we have on that banner. Okay, the other one that we have on that banner, I have her already at uh, Max Breakthrough. She is going to be Beverly, or what I, <laughs> I call her, Bev. Hey, Bev. Um... She is um, she's one of the converters that you don't need to max breakthrough or to break through to get early, uh, what you call this, early tile conversion. So she's a converter, um, converts the nearest red tiles to yellow if the active skill is ready in the last round. Increase the tile conversion count by one in this round. Obviously, I have um, breakthrough heard already. And chain combo deals 135 damage to enemies in a cross shape. So th there's a difference here. Cross shape, then the at 11 in a cross shape to maximum range. Okay. Equipment skill is when a combo hits a target, it also deals one random target. Each can only be dealt damage once within two surrounding clusters of the target. The damage decreases with each hit. So my thoughts on Beverly herself, very usable with only one copy. So if you don't have her yet, if you're beginning the game, definitely she is a must-get for your Thunder. Um, Thunder, what do you call this? Thunder team. Um, she's great. She uh, the, the rest of her breakthroughs are going to be just icing on the cake. As you can see here, so increases uh, tile covering count by one for this one. 
then anyway five star aurorians are easy to get copies of so definitely if you don't have her pull for her if you have her well sh uh, any other copies would be add-ons to her kit anyway so again six star jonah no for her I think she she she's not she's she's not a must pull, but definitely a good one to have in your roster, especially if you don't have her and you're beginning out. Okay, moving on to the next. Okay, our next uh, femme fatale is going to be Sikare, one of um, I think the most uh, one of my most used uh, converters in my forest team. So let's go over through her skills. Active skill is deals 450 damage to enemies in a cross shape. So normal for converters. Convert styles in the area of attack to green. Number two is a chain combo. Grave spikes uh, deals 120 damage to the nearest enemies. And the damage ignores defense if the target soul is reaped. This, this is actually one of, I think, the best uh, chain combos for a converter. And her equipment skill would be Mortal Tomb when Sikara attacks enemies for the first time she reaps the soul of the target dealing damage equal to 60 percent of attack to the enemy this damage also ignores defense so definitely one of the best um and across converters or any converter that you can have um she gives you guys a a bit of utility aside from just converting tiles so definitely i must say she is a must get um, really a must get even up to max breakthrough because this is where she has her uh, preemptive strike. So cross con, ignore defense, but you have to, you know, put her at pre uh, at uh, max breakthrough for her preemptive strike. So those are my thoughts. So again, just want to recap. If you like the overall banner, um... If you like the overall banner, if you don't mind summoning for a 6-star and if you want to get either Beverly or Sikare, then be my guest. Because both of them are good, especially for Sikare. And you really need to get a lot of copies of her for max breakthrough. Beverly, only one copy. Jonah, meh. Um, not really recommending her. But if it's okay, you know, if you don't mind having Jonah in this banner and if you want to get both I or either both Beverly Sicar then go for this banner. But overall, for me personally, I wouldn't go for this. I already have full copies of Beverly Sicari and Jonah. I'm not really happy to summon for her. So I'll leave it up to you guys, whichever you go. But before we leave this um this uh video, I'd like to kinda <laughs> kind of promote Jonah's uh, uh what they call this Jonah's skin so if, if just in case you have her ready or if you're gonna get her um her skin is kind of just want to give a comment um uh, okay for me not really the the skins that I'm looking for it's 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 good it has a kind of steampunk look but definitely racing skins are this one's uh, kind of average for me. So if you're into her skin, you might as well get her when um, her skin drops in the game as well. So moving back to this banner again, uh, if, you, if, you, if you're planning to skip this banner, hopefully we could have other banners in the rotating recruitment next week that we could or we could take advantage of or probably a better six star than jonah right now so anyway guys thank you very much for staying this far i've said this I, I i've said this already a couple of times and if you do subscribe to my channel um this helps me and my channel a lot guys thank you much thank you very much stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here